Your name, please, again. Andrew Hill. Uh, in what rank are you? I don't have a rank. What are you assigned? I don't know the regiment. I just know that uh, the Foreign Legion said I could help um, when I crossed the border. I was helping out the border for a bit. And um, they said if I wanted to help more, I can help further in country if I went with them. Uh, have you been in any other countries before in any active? Uh, Sorry, say that again. Have I been in any other countries? Do you have a wife? I have an ex wife. Ex -wife. Your parents, do they know that you're here? My dad is dead. My dad died on uh, New Year's Eve this year. What about your mother? I don't have a relationship with my mother, nothing like that. Is there anybody else who can care about you? My children. I have four children. And I do have a partner that I'm dating now. Uh, did you have any weapon assigned to you? Yes. Um, I was carrying a CZ, a CZ for personal protection. How close was you in your uh, group? There was uh, seven of us in my group, but uh, two of them I didn't know who they was. How was the communication between you, you, your group, and uh, the Ukrainians organized? Who was uh, giving you orders or something? Uh, it, I, w I wasn't involved in that. Um, it was someone else that was involved in that. But the information we get is very minimal. We don't really get told very much at all, if anything. What's he doing from what province? Plymouth. Hmm? Plymouth. Uh, what did he cross the border? Remember what the area is called. It's south of uh, Res Resvo, 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 in Poland. Oh, uh, of Portugal. After crossing the border, where were you taken? I uh, stayed on the border for a little bit, helping refugees there. And then um, someone said to me that I can help further in, ta like in, in Ukraine. How did they transport you here? By bus. What did you give information about this uh, Shazhuf, uh, where you were concentrated before being transported to Ukraine? Uh, I flew to there on my own and down to the border to help by myself. So uh, and idea. then when I was at the border, that's when someone approached me and said, so I can help further in and in Ukraine. How much did they pay you? They didn't pay me. No, they said... They haven't paid me nothing, no, but they said they was meant to be paying people, but no one's been paid. Did they have any documents with you? I had my passport. Passport took. Why do you want And where is it now? I don't know. Well, you lost, lost it? Or? No, it's it where... Let me take it from you. It's where um, your soldiers... Not, it's not just a document. Roughly in that area there. Hmm? Am I safe? Yes, you are safe, absolutely. How will it with this work? Are you going to like, hold me for how long? Or is there anyone who's been able to get back home to England or anything like that? No. I absolutely cannot say right now how long is it going to take, but you can be uh, sure that nothing dangerous to your life. What about, am I going to be able to get to a hospital? Mm -hmm. Yes, you will be taken care of. Is it a bullet shot or uh, what trauma is it? Because they can care of your bullet shot. <coughs> and with your soldiers? No. What would you like to say to, uh, to the other Englishmen who decide to go to Ukraine? Well, they need to really think about it. Whether this doesn't involve us.